I jive in with a payoff for being a victim? Sure, yes, Whitey Locks. Absolutely. <laughs> These are very nice Whitey Locks. Yes, that's uh, his name, Whitey Locks. It, but Melissa's I need, I need hair right? I need hair plugs. I, no excuses. Right. We only but, rough with people we love. Don. Right. We only yeah. rough with people yeah. we love. Go ahead. So I think another excuse for being a victim is when you stop being a victim and you see how far behind you are from your peers, there, there can be a temporary feeling of discouragement and despair. Uh, I, I remember years ago, I saw someone who had previously been a genius. He was on the law review of uh, his law school, and then he got into real bad drugs. And so by the time I saw him, he was bipolar, and no one had been able to treat him. And one day, I put him on, and I got him on meds that actually stabilized him, and he looked right through me. His IQ was now down from 180 to about 140, and he looked right through me, and he said, uh, I had it all, and I blew it, and I'm never getting it back. And he looked right through me, and I said, "You know, you're still smarter than ninety percent of the people." And I he was said, about to say, and, and he said, "Don't." He, he said, "Don't bullshit me. I had it all. I lost it, and I'm never going to catch up." And you know, he could see that I was kind of deal, having trouble with it. Anyway, I never saw him again, except on the streets years later. And I asked this mentor of mine. I said, "God, you know, I had him sane," and he looked at me and he said, "You are not." God, you had him sane, and it was a sanity that would have made him kill himself. Wow. So you have to, you, you can't be <laughs> down on yourself because he couldn't live with what, how far behind he was. So one of the payoffs for victimhood, it's an excuse. And what I tell people who have lost five or 10 years, it's amazing if you put your mind to it and you hustle, you can catch up to people who are 10 years ahead of you in a year. Yes. Right. Sometimes in an instant in the way, if you look at the world differently, but that's one of the payoffs from victimhood is that if I really see how far behind I am from everyone, I'm never going to catch up. So I don't mm. have to look. Mm. Well, well, part of, and, and there is a discouragement and despair that can make you want to kill yourself. The point is you don't have to kill yourself. You, you're going to die, but you don't have to die today. That's it. But, uh, but again, you know, I, I, I'm kind of get that flashback of that guy. I, he's probably dead by now. But you know that's what my mentor said is you introduced him to the reality that he had thrown away and he can't live with it. That's why he never came back to see him.